So the three button stopped working on my oven and the two and the one, which is kind of annoying if you want to cook something at 375 or 350. Uh, but the reason I'm doing this quick video today is just sort of a public service announcement. Don't buy this type of oven. It is a double oven uh, where all the heat goes up through this control panel and eventually ruins the keypad. Now, a lot of these ovens have like membrane keypads, but this is actually a glass keypad, sort of like, you know, a glass touch screen on your, on your iPhone. Another common fix uh, people say online is this ribbon cable would go bad, but that's actually a different type of ribbon cable, but uh, you just can't press these buttons and it's all built together in one part. So there's a circuit board behind it. I kind of like left it hooked up and I was able to eventually press a three by, you know, holding the back of it and the front of it, but it's just a thin layer of plastic that um, I think it changes capacitance or something when you touch it. It's only about a 10 year old appliance. Um, all my appliances in my house are GE profile and they're all starting to break down uh, recently in the past couple of years. The dishwasher had some little motor thing go bad. The refrigerator had a little piece on the compressor and those were easily fixed. This one's probably the easiest to get apart, but the most expensive part. So I just got the oven out and unplugged it and had to remove a screw on either end to get that control panel housing off or whatever. Then it's just a matter of unplugging a bunch of stuff and uh, you got to unscrew the little plastic thing that mounts on the circuit board. But you can kind of see how the heat, you know, from those two double ovens and it, like if we cooked, you know, bacon in it or something, sometimes the control panel would fog up. So just after years of heat going across all this stuff, I guess it's just ruined that touch, touch screen. And here's the new piece. And it's all one piece. Yeah, the part with the keys is just like almost like a little thin layer of adhesive tape stuck to the back of the glass. It's not sold separately. I don't know how to get it off there. After replacing that part, it works again. All my keys work and the oven's fine. It looks nice. I think that's why we bought this oven is because the control panel is not at the back as with most uh, those kind of like smaller ovens, but it's just a, it, very expensive. So again, I would probably recommend buying one that doesn't have the glass keypad. That's about it. Have a great Memorial Day weekend. The old part and the new part.